Bonjour à tous. This means hello everyone in French. Every year the French Embassy in India collaborates with the French company to award scholarships more than 12 crore Indian rupees to more than 500 Indian students who wish to pursue higher education in France. By the end of this video, you will know the overview of France's top industries, courses and universities and also get an invaluable data of more than 30 scholarships that you can apply for. Welcome to the fifth episode of Know Your Scholarships. I am Sunandini, working at Inside IIM as a video producer. We will continue this series with our third country, that is France. Let's get into the overview. France's top industries are finance, fashion, culinary, banking, aerospace and tourism. Students from business schools in France are also in demand because of the high reputation and ranking of the universities. In business management, France is well known for the luxury brand management and hotel management. As per the QS top universities, the world's top business universities in France are HEC and INSEED in Paris which rank even higher than Oxford, Cambridge and London Business School. Other than this, there are many companies like Stain, Gobain, Decathlon, Airbus, Schneider Electric, which are some French companies located in India. So after studying in abroad, you can also have the benefit of living in India with your family and still working in the top French companies. We will dig deeper with the case study. Let's take and break down the MBA degree at INSEED. INSEED is amongst the top universities in the world in category with Harvard and MIT. This case aims to peel all the expenses, scholarships and return on investment of the university. There are two INSEED universities, one in Singapore and the other in France. But since the point of this video is scholarships in France, we are going to focus on INSEED in France. Now, moving forward, this video is divided into four parts. Number one, the budget. Number two, how to find the scholarships. Number three, how to apply for these scholarships. And number four, three tips to study in France. Part one, budget. We will use the KYS standard Excel sheet to know the expense to study MBA in INSEED France. This is the KYS standard Excel sheet. You can see that there are these income sources and then expenses and this accounts to 94 lakhs in Indian rupees for a 10 month course in MBA at INSEED. So the conversion is taken from this table in this data which was made when the data was collected. This might change in real time so please look into the conversion table as per Google. Other than that you can also see something different here the car lease. So France provides car lease at subsidized rates for students. Here for 10 month period, it accounts to 3,900 euros, which is equivalent to 3.2 lakhs. If you want to know more about car lease, I'll just attach a link in the description. You can check it out and see more. The median base salary of INSEED grad in 2020 was around 80 lakhs per year. Consulting was the highest paid industry, which will give you a salary of around 83 lakhs per year. On the other hand, finance service role will give you a salary of about 77 lakhs per year. And if you take up technology or telecommunication, then you can expect a salary of around 74 lakhs per year. Part 2. How to find the scholarships in France To give yourself maximum chances to get these scholarships, you need to do three things. Number one, how to find the scholarships that you're eligible for. Number two, apply for the perfect number of scholarships diligently. And number three, when to start applying for them. Check KYS episode 2 to dig deeper into this. Now, let's focus more on France specific scholarships using our consolidated data sheet, which has more than 30 scholarships for you. So this is the consolidated data, the link for which is attached in the description below. You can see we have categories like bachelor's degree, master's degree and PhD postdoc. There is the name, subject, type of scholarship, source of uh, scholarship and how to apply. These links will direct you to the place where you can directly apply online. And you can see there are more than 30 scholarships here. Part 3 How to apply for these scholarships We are going to talk about 3 main scholarships and then dig deeper on how to apply for them practically. Number 1 Directly from the university itself The website has more than 100 scholarships and you are eligible for at least 10 internal scholarships. They also have 4 external scholarships that you can apply to. 
So how does this whole process works? Number one, you have to register and get your login ID and password. Then you have to fill in your basic contact details, your education, your profile, your professional profile, personal details and financial details. This will act as the base for all the scholarships that you can apply for. Then when you choose the scholarships that you're eligible for, you will get individual essays for standalone scholarships and then you can submit that and move along. So the scholarship amount for this 10 month course is around 16 lakhs and you can reduce your final expense from 94 lakhs to 78 lakhs. So the second is a merit-based scholarship known as Education Future International Scholarship. This is a very unique kind of scholarship which was created by the ex-scholarship holders themselves. So all the like-minded winners come together to fund the next batch of students with whatever they can contribute. The concept is to give back to the society and for the cause of education with a focus on building a brighter and a smarter future. So let's see how to practically apply for them. There are three steps here as you can see the basic information, education information and your goal. You have to just type in all the content that is asked for and then proceed. There will be a deadline for this and there are two categories as well. US for US universities and for non-US university or college. So the scholarship amount for this will vary from 2 lakhs to 10 lakhs depending upon the scholarship budget and your profile. So your final expense will reduce from 94 lakhs to around 92 lakhs to 84 lakhs. So the third is a need-based scholarship known as Legrand Scholarship Program. So if you are an Indian who wants to study masters in any French higher education institution, then you are eligible for this if your family income is less than 8 lakhs per year. Coming to how to practically apply for them, you can see they will have an online and telephonic interview round and these are the fields that you can look into for masters. And here we can see the application procedure. You have to click on this, register yourself, give all the documents that are required and then maybe there will be a essay or they will ask you about your goal for this. This is the timeline which will change every year and you have to keep a note on this. So the scholarship amount for this is around 6 lakhs for a 10 month course. So your final expense will reduce from 94 lakhs to 88 lakhs. Part 4. Tips to study abroad. Work while studying. All foreign students have the right to work while studying in France. French law allows international students to work up to 964 hours per year or the equivalent to 60% of the maximum working hours permitted. Whether a student or not, a minimum wage is guaranteed by law when working in France. As of January 1st, 2021, this minimum wage is 855 rupees. This salary is gross. Mandatory social security contribution have to be deducted, which is around 20% to determine the actual earnings. That is around 684 rupees per hour. To promote academic success and the vocational integration of students, students working at French universities are not permitted to work for more than 670 hours between September 1st and June 30th and not more than 300 hours between July 1st and August 31st. Number two, learn the language. We discussed learning German in episode three. Similarly, in France, only 40% people speak in English. To survive and enjoy your time in the best way possible, try to learn the language. Start with small things and practice these maybe. Number one, order food and drinks in French. Number two, ask for direction to a museum in French. Number three, live with a local student or maybe some host who is local. Number four, make friends with local people and try to exchange each other's language. Number five, watch TV and movies in French. The third tip is public transportation is your friend. We spoke earlier about a car leasing option in France. But it is very costly, around 3.2 lakhs for 10 months of the course. The alternative to this is public transportation. It is quicker, safer and cheaper. But they only don't run 24-7. If you are a student, you will spend around 600 euros, which is equivalent to rupees 48,000 to travel in public transportation instead of 3.2 lakhs for 10 months if you opt for a car lease. 
that is it for today's video i hope you understood how to calculate your own budget and efficiently financing your education abroad further we will move on with more countries and find more efficient ways to finance your education if you have any global scholarships on trans which are not listed in this consolidated data then do comment on this video so that we can add those in the excel sheet and keep it updated for you if after watching all these you feel that going to abroad is not for you or maybe this is not the correct time to go but you still want to get the global knowledge and skills then you can also check out all uni programs on corporate finance saas sales or digital marketing learn from the industry professionals and get certifications that will land you to the best job possible click on the link in description below to know more about them i will see you in the next episode of know your scholarships with more such scholarships and where to get them merci tol de mon